When this timer is finished, this video will be deleted forever. Hmm, that was a really cheeky hook. Screw the YouTube personality thing. I just want to have a chat. First, I want to say thank you for watching the ZHC and Beam roast videos. That really means a lot. I kind of like the idea of when you're younger, you look up to your parents, and then as you get older, you realize they were making it up as they went along. I kind of wanted to instill that same idea onto some of the biggest creators. Even when we're at the top, we're all still making it up. So yeah, I want to continue that series. And so the big question is, which creators should I roast next? Secondly, I've done something I'm really proud of a podcast. A show where we're delving into creative minds behind the best YouTube videos, TV, and movies to gain insight about the art of film editing. We've already got three episodes out, and one of them is an interview with Ryan Trahan. If there's eight frames of silence, mm. this could be the difference between getting someone to laugh or not. But obviously, Ryan doesn't make content on his own. We also interviewed his editor. The audiences are really smart. Allowing the story to tell you the message instead of telling the viewer the message mm. is sometimes really valuable. We're gonna do our best to post weekly, so make sure to subscribe. And if I see you are subscribed to the channel, I might just work for you. But wait, don't I still work for Logan? After working with Logan Paul since September 2016, we just completed one of our last big projects together. 99 Originals. I've been on this project since January this year, and I put a lot of storytelling and style into this content. For those who've seen it, your comments have been overwhelmingly positive. But it's not a closed door with Logan. Me and him will still be working together every now and again on some freelance videos. When he needs the best editing possible, that's when he'll call me. Which then makes me available to work with some of you guys. But before you start writing that email, what if I instead provide content to help train one of your editors? I actually have been writing an educational course. A lot of you guys have been requesting it and we're finally gonna be filming it this month with the optimism that it can come out later this year. So keep an eye out for that. But also this, my channel. I love making content on this channel where I just get to talk about editing, but that is the problem. It's just talking. We've all heard of the phrase, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? And that's what's happening here. So I will be doing the talking on the editing podcast, make sure to subscribe, but my priority will still remain being an editor. What this means is that I will be posting content on this channel when I can. Such as if I end up editing a really great video, I will do a breakdown of it. So as a freelancer who wants to make breakdowns on this channel, I'll be looking for the best editing jobs. So hey, do send me that email, but first, Make sure you're subscribed to the editing podcast and I will be checking.